there's a switch there. You go right under. You don't eat in the weed. I'm scraping back and run. Yeah, he's a nice looking car. The old boy here with a couple long antler on the left. But.
Hard? Yeah. yeah, he looks like hard. Hard as a rock. He's starting to strip, I think, isn't he? In the back, he has a, a skin, I think. I said, I did all by myself. Chucky. It was all, did all chucky, find, wasn't it? Did you find it? catch up with us and then tried to hunt them down and after a lot of careful stalking we actually end up speaking them. <coughs> Ran up over the top and, and just crept along here for probably 400 metres very really slowly. Looking, looking, looking and finally found them. And didn't know what hit them. Beautiful. After um, losing what, about four gallons of sweat over the last few days. We finally pulled the trigger on a very nice stag. Around 30 to 32 inches long. Nice enough. Just hardened off. And he gave us a hell of a chase. I've seen him two or three times. And uh, followed up today. And he beat us again first time, but today, but kept on his trail and he finally located and got the drop on him. Great hunt. Thanks very much Clark. Bit of teamwork. teamwork. <laughs> Relentless pursuit. <laughs> yeah. Run them till they stumble and fall. Keep on their trail. Don't yeah. give up. That's one of the characteristics of these little guys. They're very sneaky and they, they tend to you know, get up on these bluffs and they Look everywhere and watch them. They'll watch the wallabies and watch the birds, listen, and if they think you're there, they'll just, a lot of times, they'll just move off not that far and then they'll set up another ambush for you and say, come on, come and get us. <laughs> and uh, they often don't run as far as people think. They just yeah. sneak off. When we started stalking really slow to follow them, the wallabies everywhere. And it's quite interesting to see if it just took your time. The wallabies actually just hung in there, didn't tear off and Spear everything in front of us. We were actually able to just circle quietly around the wallabies. Actually, some of them we walked right through them. It just shows you a bit of, what a bit of stealth and just taking your time can do. Actually, when we snuck up on this bar, there was another couple of hinds there with them. But, um, they didn't even know we were there either. It was a great stalk. A lot of anticipation after seeing them about two hours earlier. <laughs> it took, took quite a while to catch up with them eventually.
working this. And there's a bloody dark. Pretty, yeah. pretty caramel, though. Yeah. Well, compact here. Yes, he's never going to be a trophy, is he? No, he's a cold lead bubble. It's nice. Really caramel nice. coloured horns, eh? Nice colour there, chocolate you see on him there. Yeah. Great. Yeah. He's got a good bit. Yeah, when he couldn't resist coming back because I might get pushed out of that country. <laughs> yeah, I got a rubber tree in. Oh. See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. This other dog just realised what's ha happened. What you done, Charlie? That'll probably do you. Off here. Off. Off. Axe off. Chalky off. Off, Chucky, here. Off, axe, off. Hello. Took the wrong day to take, go for a stroll. Good boy, axe. Good dog. One fish. It's running a nice beat me now. Good fish. Get me out of the logs. Oh, it's going to break the line. It's a biggie. Look at that. Well done. A few pounds of fish in there. Solid, isn't he? A beauty. It's been a great four days hunting, isn't it, Gareth? Four yeah. or five days hunting. Great experience. And the party invited us over to have a return hunt after taking them car shooting in the southern Alps to the west coast. Yep. Making them freeze his ass off. Yeah. Sorry, he says, we didn't think it was cold. Though, <laughs> it wasn't right? just cold, it was freezing. No, mate, it wasn't <laughs> it was. cold. There was ice on everything and snow everywhere, but it was a fantastic trip. It really was. It was just so, you know, a trip um, of a lifetime. What we weren't aware of is we were going to get the opposite here. We are going to get roasted. But it's been good hunting, lots of fun. Yeah. 
and uh, look at the results, you know. Got two fantastic heads here. I've got one about still around 190, yeah. and uh, you know, it's around the 33 inch mark. What, what's yours, Gareth? Um, so I think it's about 32 and a half, and I think the score was just going to go around 200, so I well, couldn't be any happier with that. Massive, awesome, head. massive heads, and uh, most unexpected, but well earned too. We spent a few hard days hunting. Yeah. Looked over a lot of stags. Some really good stags we've seen. Got some good guidance from Clark knowing that one's too small, that's too small, you're dreaming. <laughs> that's not a stag, that's a wallaby. <laughs> <laughs> that sort of stuff. Yeah. It happened a few times, didn't it? We yeah. knew we knew the difference with a pig, but sometimes the wallabies <laughs> catch you up. Pig ones. <laughs> Wallaroos. Yeah. But yeah, in day two. In day two you got yours? Yeah, day two got mine after. And that was hair raising wasn't it? Spooked them and uh, they're very quiet stalked through. Had to sit and wait for 20 minutes watching that stag before we could get a clear shot at them. And uh, patience paid off. Yeah. And we saw another good one that same day. Followed up two days later found them. That's this one here. And he was a really good stag and he gave us just as hard a hunt. Um, we spotted him first but second time up and he spotted us and uh, gave us a chase and another follow-up quiet stalk to get him. Now, it's been a terrific trip. You've got a couple of great trophies. They're fantastic. You can go your whole life and not see another one mm. as good as that one. Yeah, that's, yeah, really, that's really good result. And um, had some fantastic fun pick, pick shooting as well. Yeah, and a bit of fishing. We've got some good, couple of good boars. And some fishing as well, yeah. Some good fun. Only lost about two gallons of sweat. That's a day. Yeah. <laughs> I say it's 40 degrees in the shade, so it's a little bit warm. Makes you enjoy the water a bit more when you get back to that truck. Eh? Yeah. It's been great.